Okay, so we're going to go in about a minute. Hope everyone's had a good day. Raring to go for the circuit training. So you will need some kit for this, either a kettlebell, dumbbells, barbell, slam ball, med ball, anything. Any bit of kit, just so we can mix up some of the exercises. We're not always doing press-ups, dips, uh, and the same stuff all the time. Have a beautiful day in the garden. Okay, just making sure everyone's mute on um, Zoom and we're ready to go. Okay, good evening folks. Here we go again, uh, Brighton Outdoor Fitness. My name's Keith. Welcome to our newbies or people who haven't done many of these. If you haven't done one of our sessions or been to one of our sessions in the parks and haven't filled any health questionnaire, do this at your own risk. Okay, just work with your own abilities, but enjoy it, get the most out of it. Okay, and our members... We always, as always, just get stuck in. So we're going to do a circuit training session tonight, but if you want to make it more strength-based, you just need to slow it down. Um, you can use more weight. You will need weights for this, because the uh, you're going to need to do some form of row, so we work the back, and some form of shoulder press, so we work the shoulders as well. Okay? If you want to make it more of a strength-based exercise, you can just slow it down, or a strength-based circuit, you just slow it down, use more weight. Uh, but it's more of a traditional circuit training session where we just go next, 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 next. So you've got three exercises we just rotate around for four minutes, then another three, then another three. Okay. I bet I'll explain all that once we finish the warm up. So here we go with our warm up. Here we go, 30 seconds of jumping jacks. Let's go. A bit more nice and easy. Just to start with, nice and easy jumping jacks. That's good, so yeah, hope you have a good day. Another nice sunny one, it's getting warmer and warmer. Just in some way, Brighton's gonna be hotter than I be for this week. Brilliant. <laughs> okay, flicking the heels up. Actually, I might read it in the Argus, so it might have said Brighton's gonna be hotter than Iceland. With their amazing journalism. Flicking the heels up just halfway. And bringing the knees up. Again, just halfway, so this is a progressive warm up. Welcome everyone on Facebook Live. There's a few of you there on the Zoom as well, that's cool. Good, so next we're going to do our reverse lunge. And reach. Let's bring those knees up. That's a little bit. Okay, so step backwards. Reach up with a hand. Big stretch up. Start waking up these thighs. And stretching out through your hip flexors. Good. Next one, we're going to do a squat and twist. Big reach up and backwards with the hand. Nice big stretch. Okay, so squat, twist, twist. Make sure you follow the hands round with the head. Try and keep the hips facing forward. So you're keep twisting through the upper body. Twist, twist. Next we're going to go into the press up position. Then I'll step and reach. And a press up. That's good, here we go. So press up position, step, reach, switch sides. Step, reach, press up. Step, reach, press up. Press up. Uh, 
add back into our jumpy jacks. So this time, just a little bit quicker. Okay, mix them up. Or just do normal ones. Do you do these ones? That way. Any way you want. Just songs out a little bit quicker. Next one, back to our heel flips. Get a little bit higher, a little bit quicker. And next one's gonna be our knee raises. Again, a little bit higher, a little bit quicker. Here we go, knees up. So just a bit higher than last time, a little bit quicker. Let's get this heart rate up. into our forward lunge twist. So I was thinking ahead then. <laughs> Forgot where I was. Step and twist. That's good. Forward lunge, step, twist over that front leg. Next we go for our wide leg squat and reach. That's good. Feet nice and wide. Squat. Reach over, big reach up, over the top, nice wide stance, toes and knees in line. Next one into the press up position again, doing a hip drop, hip lift. Here we go. And press up each time. So drop the hips, stretch out through the abs, lift the hips through the legs, press up. Abs, hips, press up. Abs, hips, press up. So stretching out all these, warming up the chest, shoulders, and the arms. Okay, but we go with jumpy jacks. Let's go really quick. Okay, and do the switch. As long as it's fast, doesn't matter what you're doing. Next one we're doing heel flicks. Okay, go quick. There you go, heel flicks. Nice and quick, really getting that heart rate up. This warm up works, that's why we kept it, it works. Next one, knees up. Get the knees up. All the way up. Then we do leg swings, arm swings, walk out, and then hit it. <coughs> or maybe circuit it, not hit it. Okay, leg swings. Forgot to mention at the start, two very important birthdays today. My dad, happy birthday dad, and the queen. Happy birthday queen. <laughs> Next one, arm swings. Okay. 
because it's the Queen's birthday, you're allowed to drink sherry tonight. Fair of 94, she can probably drink whatever she wants now. Okay, next stretch, last little bit, then I'll walk out. Okay, then change. So walking out, press up, walk the hands back, reach up, stretch. Then split your hands, you move first, it's this on the left. Reach. Reach. Oh, yeah, here we go. And again. Oh, and rest. Okay, so if I'm ready to go in about a minute, I'll explain what we're going to do. Okay, we have three sets of exercises. This circuit's called 432. So you're gonna do the first set of exercises for nine, four minutes, then the next three exercises for four minutes, then the next one for four minutes non-stop. Okay, so when we do these exercises, I want you to do up to 12 reps. Okay, no more than 12. If you can't hit 12 after a few goes or a few circuits, Okay, just move on to the next exercise. So maximum of 12 reps. So this four minutes. Then we get round to the next full circuit. We'll be doing it for three minutes and nine reps. And the last one's a couple of minutes, six reps. That's faster reps. So the idea is it's a circuit. It's just three exercises. First one is squats, press-ups, and then half sits. Okay, so we're hitting the upper body, lower body, and the abs. Okay, up to 12 reps, non-stop for four minutes. Okay, then we rest for 30 seconds, go straight to the next three exercises, rest for 30 seconds, and into the next three exercises. Okay, so the idea is you've got good steady pace, going at your working at your own pace. Okay, if you want to make it more strength based, use heavy weights. If you want to do more traditional, lighter weights, okay, especially on the leg exercises, and keep the tempo up. Okay. So it's not quite a hit session, we have to do loads of jumping around. It's more about really good, strong reps. Okay, then move on to the next. Concentrate on really good form. Okay, so we remember we're doing squats, press-ups, and half sits at your own speed, up to 12 reps max. If you can only do eight or nine or 10, that's fine. Just move on to the next exercise. Okay, so everyone ready? Four minutes, squats first. Let's go. So this, I'm just gonna use this weight. This is gonna be squats. 12 reps or up to 12. Good, then I want you to do press ups. Okay, again, up to 12 reps. Okay, then half sit, get up to 12 reps. That's good, and round again. Squats. Is this one uses ball. So keep the tempo up. You're not trying to go a million miles an hour. So you should be breathing hard, but not absolutely blowing. I've just got this bench here, so all I'm going to do is change the angle of my press-ups. So next one's going to do decline. To half sit. So up to 12 reps. So pick a 
slightly heavier weight this time. Over halfway, just. So back into your squat. Trying to do up to 12 reps. Remember squats, press ups, half sit. If you have the option, just change the angle of your press ups. That's good. We're up to 12 reps all the time. One minute to go. Let's try and get another circuit in. Away. Just going to finish this one off. <clears throat> Great work, guys. Press up, set your squats. Again, up to 12. If you can't make 12, just stop. Hit the next exercise. And rest. Good work. <laughs> okay, next three exercises. Lunges, rows, okay, and full sit-ups. So if you're using weight, step backwards in a lunge. With your weight, you can do an upright row, bent over row, and then we're into full sit-ups. So here we go, coming up. So again, up to 12 reps. And lunges first. Okay, so if you need to, just take a little bit longer of a rest. If you can, start straight away. So there's 12 paces in total. Okay, and then your back exercise. So any form of row. So upright row, bent over row. If you've got dumbbells, you can do a renegade row, so in a press-up position. Full sit ups. And a quick change over between the exercises. Try and keep fingertips on temples. Dig the heels in. That's good. Back into lunges when you're caught up. Step back, so make that rear knee all the way down to the floor. Force that front foot into the floor. Keep the tempo up, but remember control. Always under control. So you're trying to do it up to 12 reps. Don't worry if you can't hit 12. Just move on to the next exercise. We go halfway. Now to force the feet to the floor, we do this upright row. Elbows high, hand up to the chin. And then full sit ups. Again, dig the heels in. Good work. Round again. 90 seconds to go. 
Uh, keep the chest up, look ahead when you do the lunges. Drop to overstride. So like I said, you should be breathing hard, but not absolutely blowing. If you are, just slow it down a little bit. It's not a hip session. It's more about good, strong reps and a nice, good, steady rhythm. Not too slow, not too fast. So in between a strength session, in between a hip session. Up to 12 reps. These heels in on the sit-ups. Curl up. Well, we've still got 10 seconds. Get a couple of reps in. And rest. Take 30 seconds. So our next three exercises, hip bridge, so here, pushing the hips up, squeeze the glutes, hold the ball if you want to, then we're doing shoulder press, and then flutter kicks, this way you lift the head and shoulders off the floor, kick, but count on one leg, so one, two, three, four, five, okay, legs nice and straight if you can, and let's go, hip bridge, up to 12 reps. Here we go, one. Bit Jane Fonda. It's a good glute exercise. Okay, then our shoulder press. There's a med ball, barbells, dumbbells, kettlebell. Or just mix them up. If you've got lots of different weights, start heavy if you can. Okay, so remember these flutter kicks. On your back, lift the head, shoulders up, kick, count on one leg, two, three, four. Good. And again, so it's that hip bridge, so don't bother getting up. Pushing those hips up, squeezing the glutes. Bit Jane Fonda, bit Eric Prids as well, isn't that that video with him? <laughs> Shoulder press. Good strong reps, keep the elbows in if you're using the kettlebell. Force the feet to the floor, slight bend in the knees, strong through the abs. Good, and back into our flutter kicks. I'm going to change these over, do crossovers. One, two, three. Or stick at your flutter kicks. One, two, three. And again, round we go. Don't get up. Hip bridge. Right, right guys, keep going. That's good, feel that stretch in that hamstring. So it's a shoulder press. Got 90 seconds left. And a whole minute rest. Back down we go for our flutter kicks, if you're not up with me. Lift the head and shoulders so you engage your abs. Five, six, seven, eight. And hip bridge. Push those hips up, squeeze the glutes. Good. 
good work. Keep working hard. Back into our shoulder press. If we have time, phew, oh, loads of time. Let's do about 40 seconds. Boom. To get through this circuit, this three exercise is much quicker than the others. Uh, back into those first kicks. I'm going for crossovers again. They work better for me. I can feel it way more. And round we go. Hip bridge. And rest. Good work, guys. Take a minute. Take a whole minute. How's everybody doing? You good? Excellent. Looking good. You got Nikki, Catherine. Hi, guys. Another Catherine. Nick, Andy. Hello, mate. Okay, so on Zoom, all looking good. Okay, so 30 seconds, we're doing the same three sets of three exercises, but this time for three minutes, and you're doing a maximum of nine reps. Okay, so we should be getting around the exercise a little bit quicker, but a little bit less time. So maximum of nine reps. So we're starting with squats, press-ups, half-sits. Nine reps maximum. So if you can, go a little bit quicker. Let's go, squats. Again, change the angles. I'll go for wide leg, heavier weights. So nine reps, then into press-ups. I'll keep this to tell you how long we've got there. Again, changing the angles, let's go close. It's a half sit. Maximum nine reps. And then we go again. So again, again, working hard, working in between that strength, strength session speed and hit in between the two. Okay, so I'm going to go staggered hand press-ups. All on one side. And next time I'll change hands. So half sit. So on this one, you should be breathing a little bit harder because you're losing that kind of almost to failure as we did and then we're switching from upper body lower body abs to back to the lower body it's that peripheral heart training but again if you're blowing hard just slow it down again press ups Half six, got one minute. One minute on this set. And back into squats if you're up with me. Get nine good strong reps. Again, I'll go wide. Press up for 25 seconds left. And half six. Now we come to a good technique. Might be working hard. But under control, rest for 30 seconds.
Good work, so we've got to get in. 20 seconds time. This third pair, hip bridge, shoulder press, and those flutter kicks. And then maximum nine reps. <coughs> so hip bridge first. Here we go, three, two, one, go. Three minutes, nine reps, three exercises. Shoulder press. So it's only nine reps, could probably go a little bit heavier. But always under control. Especially when you're lower. And it's like flutter kicks or crossovers. And hip bridge. You want to make this harder, do one leg. Really feel it through the hamstrings and then change legs next time. Back into our shoulder press. Control the weight on the way down as well as on the way up. And again, that hip bridge. You want to change legs? Do this one legged. Steady working through, don't go perfect reps. Oh, we missed one there, didn't we? Kicks. <laughs> okay, back into the shoulder press. One. Remember, up to nine reps max. Good, back into our kicks. Remember, look at the feet, heavy shoulders up. And it's our hip bridge. One minute to go. Nine reps. Always nine reps. Here we go. Kicks. We have 30 seconds. 30 seconds to go. Hit bridge. Really squeeze those glutes when you do this hip bridge. Go up onto the shoulder blades. Just hope your neighbours aren't watching. And rest. Good work. Take a minute. Great work, guys. So as I said at the start, this circuit's called 4-3-2. So no prizes for guessing what we're going to do next. Three, all three groups of exercises for two minutes, maximum of six reps. If you're going to take this up again, get even more out of it, you can do more jump squats, jumping exercises, a bit more ballistic. Okay. <coughs> Just keep working within your own abilities. Well, remember working out speed in between strength training and hip training. So you should be breathing hard but not absolutely hanging, okay? So here we go. Just two minutes, squats first, then press ups, then half sits. I'm going to go squat jacks on the first one. Six reps max. Three, four, five, six. Let's do squat jack, squat jack, press ups. Two, three, four, six. Remember, you do the exercises you're good at, and you can keep going for six reps. So I'm going to do the harder version for anybody else who wants to join in. So squat jumps. Okay. Get your 
squat jack press ups. So again, work at your own ability, your own speed. You still have a minute to go. It's going to go for straight jump squats. So again, you do normal squats, normal press ups. Work within your ability. I'm just calling out harder version. Here we go. My variation on those press ups. Got 30 seconds left. I'm going to go back to squat jacks. Again, squats, press ups. Half set. I like those sort of press ups. Down, in, down, down. And rest. Great work. Remember, I'm doing a harder version of each. If you need to, slow it down. Do the more static version. So next one, lunges, rows, full sit-ups. You have 10 seconds. Remember for two minutes, six reps max. Lunges, rows, full sit-ups. Let's go. So I'm doing a harder version. Six reps max. For two minutes. That's good. Full sit ups. Throw in a twist if you want. But quick reps. So again, I'm going for jump lunges. And I'm sure what you do. Work within your ability. That's good. So I've done reverse lunges or jump. If you haven't got any weight, you can mix them up and go forwards. Always six reps. Got one minute. So full sit up, twist, middle, twist, twist. Middle, twist. There you go. Round again. And our rows. 30 seconds, folks. 30 seconds. This is full sit up. You have six reps. Just go around our mini circuit. You have 10 seconds. Can we get a couple more reps? That's good. Rest for 30 seconds. See it, final two minutes coming up. So we're we'll doing hip bridge, shoulder press, and those flutter kicks. Six reps. Six reps for two minutes. Go in 10 seconds. This is it. No funnies after this. No finishers. Work your way through this two minutes and we're done. Here we go. Hip bridge first. Three, two, one. Let's go. Two minutes. So six good, six strong reps. Time to shoulder press. Flutter kicks or crossovers. They work better for me, I find them harder, so I'm doing these two, three, four, five, six. Because it takes slightly longer. Get a hip bridge. Six, good. 
and round we go again. The circuit, go round, round the circuit. Crossovers, two, three, four. Make sure you're looking up, five, six, then hit bridge. You always want to get up after those. Six, round again, 40 seconds left. Shoulder press, a good strong position. Kicks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hip bridge. Again, six reps. And here we go. Shoulder press. Ah, oh, ten seconds. Here we go. Rest there, folks. You have finished. Rest there. Great work. That's a hoofing effort. Look at that. 40 minutes. Boom. See, it's like we planned this stuff. It's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> then our five minutes to stretch off. Just catch your breath, compose yourself, take your time. Take a minute before we work for our stretches. Amazing work tonight, folks. Well done. Really, really good work. Great work. <laughs> Grand hog day for Wendy. What, because of me or the circuit? <laughs> I'm sure I saw you out running in Preston Park the other day. Well done. Told you everyone's a runner. You just think you don't like it. You do. Okay, so let's work for our stretches. Do a calf stretch first. I'm on a wall. We're in a press up position. Stretch out to the calves on our flat leg. Take one foot off the floor. <coughs> and change legs. Change a few of these stretches, do a glute stretch, get a bit all those lunges. It is pigeon stretch, so bring the knee underneath the chest, lower the chest down, and walk the hands forward. So you should be feeling this stretch in a glutes or the backside on this bent leg side. Once the stretch releases, just walk the hands away from it to extend the stretch. Get it nice and low. If you're in any tension in your knee, just bring your knee a little bit further around. Should be no soreness, no pressure on your knee, all in the glutes. And come up, change sides. So bring that knee underneath the chest. It's a great stretch, really feel it through here. So get as low as you can, you can so you're just feeling a stretch. Want to do our hamstring stretch, that leg locked out in the front, just drop it down low enough so you can feel the stretch in that back and back thigh. Lower the chest down to extend the stretch. Good, and then come up to change sides. So front leg locked out, all the way from the bent leg, sink back. Lower the chest. Give a big stretch through the back of the thighs here. And again, coming up. Okay, you're going to do your quad stretch. So grab hold of the shoe, bring the knees together. 
push the hips through. Just gonna push the hips through, push the shoe into the hand at the same time. Big stretch through the front of the thighs, the quads. And change legs. Post this time. Good. Stretch out through the quads. Push the hips through. Push the shoe into the hand. I've got to grab my trainer because I get a dodgy knee. Push that hip through. And rest there. Okay, we're going to do one more lower body one. We're stretch out your hip flexors. Okay, so if you sit down loads because we haven't been out to go running all day long. Okay, so just going to stretch out through here. So, all right, to reach up with the hand, okay, knee down on the floor, same knee that's down, same hand that's up, reach up, lean back slightly, and then squeeze the glutes on this side. You should feel a big stretch through here. So, when we do that reverse lunge and reach, that's what we're trying to do briefly. So, it's a brief stretch, this is a long one. So, we're actually trying to lengthen that. Really important part here, your hip flexors. Keep leaning back, keep pushing the hips through. Reach up higher if you can. Just a little bit more. And then relax. Then change sides. So again, staying upright, so you've got a good strong position. Reach up and back. Lean back slightly, push the hips forward. And squeeze the glutes on this side. So big stretch through here. Really good stretch. Again, reach up a bit higher, push the hips through a little bit more. Keep that good, strong, stable position though. A little bit higher, a little bit further. And relax. Okay, just come up, do your chest stretch. Squeeze the elbows back. Pull the shoulder blades back first, then squeeze the elbows back because they're behind you. A little bit more of a squeeze. And then shake the arms out. Last one, shoulder stretch. Arm across the front of the body, use the other arm to lever it in. Take a big deep breath in. As you breathe out, just roll it in further and hold. Just hold for a little bit longer, keep pulling it in. And shake out. Same on the other side. Get the stretch first. Big breath in. Breathe out. Pull it in tighter to extend the stretch. Then hold. A little bit more. And relax there, just loosen off. So tomorrow, two sessions tomorrow. It's already Wednesday tomorrow. Okay, so 12 o'clock with your glutes workout with Emma, and six o'clock, it will be Groundhog Day actually, yeah. Six o'clock, hit training with me. It's gonna be bonkers. <laughs> stay happy guys, stay safe, and we'll see you soon. Cheers guys.